We were unable to put the Mac on top of a step deck. It would have made us over 16 foot tall. All right, guys. Good morning. It is uh, it's Tuesday morning now. Uh, Lita's on her way back from the tag office, and uh, we had to get a temporary tag because this finance company did not, in fact, overnight the title like they promised they would. It's been a week, and it's been a week and one day since we picked this truck up. We have been busting our butt on this thing. Let me tell you. Daylight till dark every day. Just to get this thing ready. And uh, we'll be leaving out today. Um, it's not 100% done, but um, it's time to go. Uh, it's time to go make some money and pay for this thing. Let me give you guys a quick tour uh, of what we got so far. Take my shoes off because I just cleaned the floors really good. It was, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but they t they put tire wet on this floor. And Nula and Mackie and us would slip on this floor. They jumped down from the bed and they, they crashed into the dash a few times. So they're terrified of this floor. But um, this is what we have so far. This is, uh, Lita's been busting her butt on this. And um, it's probably probably gonna take a few trips out in order to like perfect how we want everything but um, I've moved my Garmin down to this little spot of the dash because anywhere it seemed like I put it up on the window it would block that mirror right there so I kind of almost permanently mounted it here We had to bust out our old, uh, we had this cooler in the hot shot. It's not a fridge. It'll just keep drinks cool. Like I wouldn't trust to put milk inside this thing, but it'll, it'll keep your drinks cool enough. Our little fridge wouldn't fit up here, which was a bummer. There's, uh, the Instapot that Lita absolutely loves. I was like, let's just get rid of this and we'll get a microwave. That's also an air fryer. She's like, no, I cook a lot of stuff in that Instapot. The whole pressure cooker and, and all that. She's like, we eat a lot of stuff out of that thing. So these beds for these trucks aren't ever big enough. And I think they do that on purpose so that you could lift this bed up without it like catching on the sides. We never lift our bed up. So we stuck the computer here. We got the Ansel computer tucked away back there. Um, if there is an emergency, we'll just kick that door open and we can kick everything out and out of the way. Save the computer. <laughs> TV's mounted. That's just kind of bungee strapped. I'm not sure what she has in here. She's got some food down in this drawer. Uh, hot logic and some gloves and some probably some cooking utensils. Yeah, these are those cooking gloves I bought her so she could reach down inside this thing without burning herself. Uh, she keeps her bag and stuff up here. We've got, uh, she's got some stuff that she, I guess she still has to sort through on her top bunk. Drone, Starlink modems up here, GoPro accessories. She's got my coats hung up nice behind my seat. Stuck our freezer in there. I'm so glad our freezer fit in here because that refrigerator freezer deal that comes with this thing is an absolute joke. Uh, this is our boot dryer, a little dustpan that we had in the Mac. And then in the closet, I think I have my clothes. Oh, she put uh, this, this plastic thing in here. There's my clothes. Just some random stuff, you know. Our towels, got our Twix IDs. 
guess she's putting her plates there. Um, I think we lost a lot of uh, room. A lot of storage room. Going from the Mac to this. But the amount of stand-up room that we have in this thing now. And the quality of life being able to stand up here without smashing your head. I think was is worth the trade. I think we had a little bit too much stuff in um, in the Mac, to be honest. I think she liked to pack um, for every single occasion, and uh, I think I think we needed to downsize, anyways. So, anyways, she's on her way. Oh, we can't forget about uh, Lita's little. We I don't know if everybody knows, but we had this head that was hung up in one of the side windows at the top to look at traffic. I think it was on that. Yeah, it was on that side. We ended up buying that a couple of Halloweens ago and Lita likes to keep it in the truck. So anyways, we are uh, trying to set up one of my old Android phones because this radio won't let me play music from my iPhone through it with a USB. So I'm hoping an Android will work. And then I can listen to all my YouTube music through that. I don't know what they had glued here. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. That's that's what a company driver will do to your truck. Some some BS like this. One of these days, I'll uh, I'll pull this panel out and I'll sand this down and probably paint it so that it doesn't look like boogered. I mean, obviously he had some type of a device glued here. Maybe his iPad or something else. I just have my steely ball right here. Which he had something else right here too. Which that's not a big deal. My phone covers that up. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I've washed our floor mats. They're drying right now. Man. This is exciting. I didn't forget my work boots this time. I'm ready to... Uh, I'm ready to hit the road. I want to get this thing returned back to Richard. Um, I just want to say thank you again, guys. For all the support and watching our videos, it really is helping us financially. Um, what worries me is uh, some of the suggestions. So I'm basically right now putting out the videos of us breaking down and uh trying to deal with what are we going to do with the mac how are we going to get it home stuff like that and i understand a lot of you guys aren't truck drivers so i don't really want to bash on you guys for suggesting us to load the mac up on top of our step deck so our step deck is three foot four inches tall and these trucks are uh 13 six so you cannot put these trucks on top of a step deck. I don't even think you can put these trucks on a low boy. I think they have to be towed. That's why you always see like, if you see multiple trucks being towed at a time, they lift the front end up and they have a special thing that they sit on each one. But what worries me is I see some comments from people that are like, I've been driving a semi truck for 30 years. Why don't you just put the Mac on top of your step deck? It's like, did, what, what were you driving for 30 years? A car? That's crazy. We cannot put, we were unable to put the Mac on top of a step deck. It would have made us over 16 foot tall. So, man, I really, uh, this sticker didn't turn out that great. So we put this sticker on over here and we did an okay job. Um, the hardest part about this is these rivets. You've got these rivets that you have to deal with and it ends up putting like bubbles in your stickers and you have to go back and squeegee out the bubbles. But that sticker actually turned out decent. So then I went and watched a uh, video and this, this sticker had to go over to this door without getting into this door. I figured it was easier instead of dealing with those rivets there it was easier to just kind of spill it out onto this door. So I watched a YouTube video on how to, how to do stick, how to apply stickers. And I kind of put it with this one. 
and this one kind of spilled out into this one and uh, I don't think we did as I don't think I did as good a job on this sticker as we did on the other one there's some bubbles I don't know if you guys can see I don't know maybe next time I'll pay a professional to put this thing on anyways I'm gonna finish getting these doggies ready looks like our uh, mats our mats are finally dry we can get those in the in the truck man let's go make some money all right we're loaded up GPS says we have 18 hours to go looks like we're gonna have to go up through Atlanta and then it's gonna take us and bypass us around Chicago at least so I don't know 18 hours from now we'll be dropping this thing off and uh, picking up our trailer for our first load in the Kenworth you excited I'm ready to make some freaking money this finance company has screwed up so much stuff. It's not even funny. Yeah. So much stuff. It's been crazy. We went through currency, uh, and they're basically a brokerage that finds you the best deal, I guess. And you would think it was their very first time doing this because there hasn't been one thing that they haven't messed up. We had to go get a temporary tag because they, uh, somebody messed up on the VIN somewhere and they were supposed to overnight the title to our tag office. No idea. So we got a 30 day temporary tag. So we have to at least come back in 30 days, which honestly is kind of a, uh, a blessing in disguise because we have to pay taxes on the truck. We paid 55,000 for the truck, and I didn't know you had to pay taxes. When we bought our second hotshot trailer, and I showed up there to get a tag for the trailer, and they told me that I had to pay taxes on it, she told me if it would have been for commercial use from business to business, then we wouldn't have had to pay taxes. So I was thinking, commercial use it's going to be going from leonard's express to south georgia hotshot nope they want us to pay seven percent sales tax on this truck now how big of a scam is our government like honestly like i have to pay a sales tax on something somebody has already paid sales tax on because they switched hands and that's like it's it's a commercial truck and you guys told me last time that if it went from business to business that I wouldn't have to pay sales tax. I even asked Leonard at Express, I'm like, hey, uh, can you show that this was, that sales tax was included? And the guy was like, we don't have to pay sales tax on class eight motor vehicles in New York. And I'm like, well, that's crazy because New York is usually one of the worst states next to California for ripping people off. Nope, Georgia's right there above them, so. What an absolute nightmare. All right, we're gonna hit the interstate and uh, see you guys in a bit. Well, good morning. We uh, we made it to Benton, Illinois. I feel like we made really good timing yesterday. I think we have about eight hours left. And um, we'll be there ready to drop this thing off and grab our trailer. Um, wow. Yeah, I mean, we made great timing. I mean, honestly, we ran this in PC but I don't think we like ran over our hours or anything crazy like that. 
Uh, we might not have just done like our 30 minute break. And not pulling a trailer, man, I can pull them, I can pull them hills and not even slow down. Truck's doing good. Uh, APU fires, fires up better than it ever did. So that's fantastic. I, I can't believe. <laughs> I mean, we tested it when we were there. We went around and we tested everything. Tested the Wabasa heater. It did take us a bit to like figure out how to turn this tri-pack on. And all the mechanics there weren't really sure, but there's kind of a sequence you have to do and you have to, it's not as easy. It's not as easy as my Comfort Pro. And I'll be honest with you, it's not as easy to work on as my Comfort Pro. Hold on guys, you guys are getting me all tangled up. Um, if I were to buy new, I don't know, maybe I say Comfort Pro just because I'm more comfortable with it and I know how to work on them. But it seems like um, like even taking this case off of this thing is a, is a bigger nightmare than the Comfort Pro. Um, I still haven't seen, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not leaking anymore. At least not right now. I don't know what the stuff in the parking lot is. I don't know if it was there when we got last, there last night or if that's our air conditioner leaking. It does look kind of dirty, like a dirty liquid coming from towards underneath of our truck. I don't know. Anyways, this is where we're at. We are, uh, we are gonna hammer down and get this thing up to them. I'm kind of freaked out about the trailer. Uh, to, last night was the night that I broke my every, I was, uh, we've been uploading a video every single night. A couple of reasons for it. Uh, number one, YouTube screwed it up. So we have to go in there and we have to change some stuff. But I wasn't sure if I was going to do it anyways because it shows where our trailer's parked. And... I didn't want anybody who doesn't like us to maybe be close enough to go mess with the trailer. So I'll get everything fixed in YouTube studios and um, get it get it posted today because we'll be up there with the trailer today. You know what I mean? So anyways, let me walk these doggies. We're going to uh, hit the road and... Uh, try to make a buck. With a little flip the page Give it some more Getting out of my way I was hiding Bulletproof Forever waiting Thinking you I landed on cotton candy in your arms and survived. I 
I'm still a disaster Rock bottom and below I'm yours for the asking Where you go, I go I thought I was what I about to the end of the road there, Sonny. You didn't want to come off, did it? You yeah. got that other bitch off, huh? How'd you get it off? <coughs> Could have called me all day long and you wait till I f***ing pull up to the goddamn trailer, man. when you're doing stuff. God damn. 
Dang, man, yeah. every single time. Yeah, I know. <coughs> All right. My trailer's still here. That is such a good sign. Our spare still tucked underneath of here. <coughs> I gotta grease the fifth wheel, take my lock off, back underneath this thing. Lots of walking room, that's what I was wor really worried about. I didn't know what our walking room situation is gonna be like. And this fifth wheel could still slide back a little bit, so that's fantastic. All right, we gotta put this tire up and uh, go find somewhere to park. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, we're hooked up and rolling. I think we're just gonna uh, shoot over to uh, Madison, Wisconsin. It's pretty much the closest decent sized city uh, around. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's some truck stops over there. And you can really smell the cow poop around here, huh? And there's a lot of Amish here too. A lot of Amish down through here. I bet half of the people that live down this road that we're on are Amish. So, shoot over to Madison, find a truck stop, um, start looking for a load. I was kind of looking for a load today. Um, I did call on one. It was a tarp load going to Ohio. Had a decent rate. It's only going to be a daily run of a thousand bucks. And they wouldn't work with us because we have progressive insurance. Um, and we've heard this before a long time ago. Might have been the same company. But progressive insurance doesn't cover things that we haul that get wet even if it's tarped. So I can kind of understand how progressive, like, I understand both ways, like progressive not wanting to do it and how they should do it. But if, if I hire you to haul something, knowing it has water damage, like water damage is so hard to prove on so many different things, you know? My thing is though, if I take a picture of the item tarped before we leave, and I send you a picture of it still tarped when we, when we arrive, which is what they always ask for anyways, I mean, that's proof that your item was tarped and if there's water damage maybe you have water damage because you let it sit outside for 10 years and now you're deciding to ship it across the country and who knows maybe there's a lot of insurance fraud with that too you know because in i mean how do you prove water damage right you, you can't so progressive is pretty smart 
they're a billion dollar company for a reason um, who knows I couldn't be mad at the broker I can't be mad at progressive what can you do right anyways these roads down through here are crazy they're so beat up like the first time we came out here we got stuck behind a uh, massive tractor and you could tell he had some weight i don't know what he was pulling it was like a a big bin of something that was like overflowing and like blowing out of it but like it had all the tires squished down tractors have completely tore this road apart nothing to do with semi trucks it's all been farmers so i don't know what are you gonna do right i think we've got uh about an hour and a half to madison something like that and uh i guess we'll see you then he's got lights yeah they need to have lights